everyone and welcome to The Expressions. My name is Mibuyo and today with us we have a young businessman, Siposite Fortune Tobileyo. How are you sir? I'm very good, thank you so much. I'm also fine. Now tell us who is Siposite Fortune Tobileyo? Well, Siposite Fortune Tobileyo is a young man from Strand that runs a fast food business by the name of Fortune and Church. Well, I discovered a passion in cooking and business management in high school, in grade 10 where I did consumer studies and business studies. That's where, I, that's where the love for cooking and business management began. And then I furthered my studies at Northland College, where I studied hospitality management and catering services. Then from there, I went to work for an interna international hotel by the name of um, Preacher Hotel Stalamosh. And then that, that's where I gained the necessary experience to be confident enough to run my own business, as I do today. Now tell us, what is the main thing that got you inspired to start this business? Well, yeah, I've always wanted to do big moves, né? but then I didn't know what moves or how moves. So, I'd, I'd say unemployment was the one that inspired me to start the business. Because yes, I've always been a dreamer that I like to do one, something one day, but then I was chilled on it. But then unemployment came, so now I had to think outside the box. What is it I can do to earn a living? Which is, I remembered, I can cook. And then I had a, spot, I had a place to run the business in, so then I run the business. So tell us, how do you best balance your life from your personal and your business window? Side? At the moment, <laughs> I haven't balanced anything. I'm, I'm struggling, seriously. I'm struggling. But I'm trying to find means and ways to figure out how, how to do it. Because I work from 9 to 9. You know, that's plenty of time. So, so yeah. But surely, with time, I'll be able to balance it. So as a businessman, what are the challenges you have faced? And how did you overcome those challenges? Many challenges I've faced, but then the main ones, a few ones, the first one would be money. Because in, in business, everything needs money. There's stock that needs to be sufficient, there's helpers that need to be paid, there's equipment that needs to be bought, there's equipment that breaks, there's that, there's that, there's that. So if I started the business in Dinamali, like Katle, I would have been very far by now. So now I started the business with um, a dream of having a business. Here's the business, there's no money to do certain things for the business, to fast track the growth in business. So now I have to sell, and then from what I've sold, I have to do any indo. Where is the that thing must be doing any indo to fast track the business, you see? And then SP, the reason would be knowledge. Okay. Knowledge. Yes, if I had sufficient knowledge of um, about the business, I can. Yeah. I didn't have enough information about the business. I knew about what I wanted to do. Okay. Not about the industry I was going in. So the knowledge like of where, you, how can you get suppliers to supply your stuff? Because I, 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 I did not know before that suppliers can actually supply your stuff, then you sell, and then you, you pay back. Mm -hmm. Now the only thing I knew was I, I, I must have money, and then stock, and then sell. Which is they that was costing me a lot of money. Because now I, I wasn't able to grow because I was like, uh, in that nutshell, so I can only stop that much. Yeah. So I would say knowledge also, yeah. And then as in here, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now tell us about the word, fortunate touch. Why did you use that word for your <laughs> restaurant? Fortunate touch. Oh. Fortunate touch. Uh, what I had in mind when I named the business, I was like, uh, people would get to enjoy food that is prepared with fortunate hands. Skilled hands, dedicated hands, committed hands. Myself. So, uh, another one would be, my name is Fortune. Okay. So that states that like as fortunate touch, meaning that's my touch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now tell me, what made you think that there's an opening for you in this business industry thing? Because there are a lot of businesses, but yeah. you find an opening how? I saw a niche. Yes, everyone is selling chips. Mm. Everyone is selling, like, there's plenty of fast food things about chain. But then what I saw was, they are chips, man. They are not my, my chopper chips. Oh. Like, they, mm. are, they are soggy, they are oily, they are soft. And that's not the chopper chips I'm used to. I, I, I'm used to crisp chips. Yeah. Mm. Lumi chips with, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a chip. <laughs> no, like, lumi chips. Ah, man. No, chip must, you know, must stay. <laughs> okay. So that's what I saw. Now tell us about the exhibition day at Luanza Museum because you were also part of it. Now tell me how did you feel being part of that exhibition day? Like they see what we do and they acknowledge what we do. 
so that Nanti don't just put us to do more and be the best at what we do. Yeah. And you were also nominated on the Hospitality Founder of the Year, not for only South Africa, for like all the other African continents. Now tell us about that. Like, how did you feel, man? Like, oh, oh, born with the many miles when she blessed, blessed, blessed because. Not one year old, not one year old, also a could run a business and be recognized to such level. Exactly. Such yeah. mm. So, like, huh, felt blessed, man. Now, in the Kalapuduam, before Sivale, there's a young upcoming entrepreneur. Mm. Eh, 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 give up, hi, eh, woman, cause it was in the Saki, I am Belinda. Now, with mm. Elange, um, we get him, but we're going to go to Lunga, man. Yeah, we're going to go to Lunga because. If God is for us, who can be against us? No one. Yes, so now in my as your figure, but they're not there like um, for Bazi see to kill us. Uh, you know, uh, uh, to kill, it only makes us stronger. Hey. You know, it, it builds your character when you have to hang in there that moment. That moment is not forever. Uh, Things come and go. Seasons uh, come and go. Yeah. So in life there's a season, but it doesn't have ambigate, since the bands are So now you have to hang in there and go within ambigate and hope for that there will come a time where you'll be able to bow now be right. Mm. Okay, again, in Villa Upudam, so Pudam, if Umdufuna Tenga, it ships up like Ufuna, like, oh, take a business, you are like every time I'm getting a team of one up now. Well, I don't know what I answer, it just hit me up on socials. Okay. Or Facebook, it's, it's one of the main things like I uh, use for a bundle. To yeah. buy your food? Yes, to buy and also like buzz and making a yeah, business. Yeah. Because most people are looking at their own Facebook. Yeah. yeah. So, like, which is, yeah. So on Facebook you can search uh, Fortunate Touch Fast Foods and then there there is a button of, of a message to WhatsApp then you can message to WhatsApp or a messenger and then we'll get to you. Okay. Unfortunately we've come to an end of our show and don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Raw Page Studio. See you next time. Thank you.